Good morning. Good afternoon. Good day. It's a beautiful day on the beach here, on the shores of the Blockage server. Been working on a few little things. Went and got some of the things necessary to make these. Collected a lot of gravel and sand and clay. Smelted them up. So we've got a little smelter here. But we don't have any lava. And we need iron to make a bucket to go get the lava. But our pickaxe Our pickaxe doesn't work. So, we're in a quandary, aren't we? Is the game broken? Is this a bad mod pack? Well, we got a little secret here. Fired clay buckets. Yeah. A fired clay bucket. So we're going to take those fired clay bucket and we're going to go find some lava. Oh. Lava. Yeah, we're going to go find some lava. So let's take a little walk this direction. I'll get a little bit of a look at the other side of the server. A little look at the terrain generation of the Highlands mod that we have installed on this mod pack and see what we got kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah. So different watercolors and stuff like that. I think that this terrain is just gorgeous. I really do. Somewhere around in here though, if I remember correctly, is a lava pool. I hope I remember to... Well, I don't have a whole lot of water. But we're not far from spawn, so we should be fine. I think right around here there's another thing I didn't mention the forestry mod has beehives all over the place I'm not exactly sure how to even access those but we'll see we'll get to that eventually uh, th oh there's another beehive right there I think that that lava is up there oh, I keep forgetting how many Canadians are on this server lava okay so um somewhere here I may have to find it and come back hmm hmm well that's the name of the game. This is the Age of Exploration. And uh, I guess that's what I'm doing. Exploring. Um, I'm almost positive I passed lava around here someplace. Lava. Oh, look at this. Do you see that in the distance? That's a hawk. That's a hawk. Let's see if we can get close enough to it. And I hope I'm going to have enough water to get back home here. What's this? What did we just pick up? A gooseberry. I wonder if it's a Canada goose. Oh, the Canadian jokes are real. It's a butterfly. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at there. Let's look at that hawk. Let's take a look. I'm way off track now. Oh. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to scout around just a little bit more. And when I find the lava, we'll, um, we'll come back. Alrighty. Well, I'm back at the house because I couldn't find the lava and I needed more water 
and I managed to get creepered and had to rebuild this and I'm two logs short of having enough to fix it and we're gonna have to make some shears pretty soon <sighs> so remember how I went all the way around that way fortunately we got to look at all that pretty terrain um let's go find the the molten rock that's hot <laughs> Let's go find lava. It's this way. And when I said it was close, it was really an understatement. So, let's get two of these. Hey there, I see you. I see you, little centipede. There we have it. Okay. Oh, should I kick him off? Should I kick him off in the lava? No, I don't do that. I'm not. I don't beat baby seals with a club. Or things like that. I'm not. I'm not mean to animals. Nope. Not even bugs. I should be real popular on the internet because of that. Oh, look here. Boy, sure glad I went all the way over there and found that hawk. Anyhow, so here we are. Um, whoa. Whoa. Notice our uh, clay bucket breaks. It's a one-time use thingy. But now, we have fuel. Just melt up some things. Um, I've got copper chunks here. I've mined a little copper. Let's see if that will. Let's see if that will smelt in here. <gasps> it looks like it is. Oh, I'm excited. Look at there. We're going to have copper soon. Okay, we'll let that smelt up, and then I'll be back. I'm going to get some water and some more food. See you in just a bit. Yeah, and welcome back. Let's talk for just a minute about Iguana Tinker's Tweaks and how it changes the mechanics of Tinker's Construct. Notice my pickaxe here has got uh, XP level. It's also a mining level copper. Now this is a flint pickaxe. Uh, we make flint pickaxes by putting three gravel in a crafting table and that drops a f that gives us a flint. And uh, that gives us a pickaxe that can only mine basic things. But as you use it, it levels up to copper. And so that's this flint pickaxe now can mine at the copper level. So I can mine copper. So what I've done is I've mined a little bit and found some copper. And we are going to... Oh, well, I'm forgetting to tell you something here. In order for us to make casting, uh, there are no stone tools. Stone is only used for making casts. So let's make a cast for an axe head. We'll drop some stone in there. And we'll get our stone axe head cast. Well, what happened? Oh, I'm done. Here we go. Drop that in there. And then we'll also make a... Let's just do, let's just stick with that for right now. Now, in order for us to get the cast for that, we have to have the correct material in our smeltery. And in this case, it will be molten aluminum brass, which is three copper and one aluminum. And I've only got one ingot's worth, so I'm only going to be able to make a cast for this stone axe head right here. So let's do that. I'm going to right click on the cast that I've already made for the pickaxe. And then I'm going to drop that baby in there. Okay. I'll right click on it. This is, this is not new to anybody who's done Tinker's Construct, but 
Some of the mechanics are different, just a little bit because of it going on tweaks. All right, so now we've got that, and we can, let's check our tank again. Let's switch back to copper. Now we can upgrade to a copper axe. Okay. Let's see how much copper we have left in here. We got three ingots, so we've got enough. I've already made the uh, pickaxe. Let's make a pickaxe head. All right. Now I've already made a copper pickaxe. I'm gonna I'm gonna save this one and give it to somebody on the server. The root probably needs one. So now that I have a copper pickaxe. You see that its mining level is at copper, but its skill level is clumsy. So I will have to mine and upgrade the XP. It will go from copper to iron. And it will go from clumsy to comfortable. And as it upgrades, you'll get other things like uh, luck or uh, the other upgrades. Fortune, silky, stuff like that. See, bauxite now is at the copper level. I can mine the bauxite. So I'm going to go ahead and mine, upgrade this, and then I'll be back. And we'll talk about the dangers of mining. All right, bye-bye. And we're back, and we mine down to bedrock. And if you'll notice, my air quality is not too good on the lower right-hand corner there. The very bottom meter is at 45%. I hope I make it back up. Um, my air quality was not good at all. I'm also thirsty. Um, without good air, I'm not going to do well. Now, I could improve my air quality while I'm mining down. The farther down you go on the Z, on the Z, you the farther, uh, the worse your air quality gets. So, you can carry leaves with you and place them down, or you can build a respirator. That's part of the EnviroMine pack. One of the things that's in there, or you can have respiration on a helmet, and it will help you breathe. But right now, what we're concerned at with, and my temperature's high too. Boy, I'm going to end up running slow if I don't take care of that. Uh, let's see if it's daytime. I hear creatures. Nighttime. Give me a second. Oh, goodness. I'm in a quandary. Let's, anyhow. Back to this pickaxe, this copper pickaxe. If you're familiar with Iguana's, uh, Iguana Tinker Tweaks and Tinker's Construct, you were screaming at the screen. Be patient, because not everybody knows about that stuff. So here's the deal. Generally, you're, with uh, Iguana's Tweaks, you are able to simply put a pickaxe into a crafting station, even your uh, survival inventory, and add on a part and upgrade it but it doesn't work that way with this so this isn't survival we're not we're not upgrading or repairing our pickaxes like in survival this is the deal we can do it right here and we can take our flint pickaxe but it has to be repaired it has to be completely repaired so now that it's at 100%, we can upgrade it to copper. It's called tool, uh, tool part replacing. So now our pickaxe, if we take that, will be a copper pickaxe. You notice this right now, if I shift, has no additional uh, level ups there. But if I were to take this one out of there, our mining level is copper but our XP is at 311 of 327 so we're 95% of the way to iron so let's take that baby out of there and now all I gotta do is go back down what's our air quality at 100% let's go back down and mine for just a little bit and we'll level up all the way back down And we're not quite there to get this lapis either. We've got fortune one on this pickaxe, but it requires a iron harvest level. So um, I'm gonna I'm kind of just doing a quick walkthrough on how this stuff goes. I know some people, if they're watching this, have probably already done these mods. I haven't done these mods in a long time, so it's kind of a reminder for me. 
there we go. And I know for a fact that some of the people watching haven't done some of these mods. So now there we have it. We can we are an iron mining level. Fortune one. I can come over here and get lapis for whatever reason. Right now, I'm not exactly sure. We'll see. Hang on, grab some cinnabar. Oh, can't do that. Cinnabar is at the redstone level. See there? So, uh, I'm not going to bore you going back up these stairs. We'll come back and we'll talk about some other stuff in a little bit. Thanks for hanging in there with me. See you in a minute. And welcome back to the smeltery. As you can see, the iron has been mined. And there is stuff in the smeltery. And some scrub. Let a creeper blow up. In this place that I worked so hard on. But I'm not going to be mad because I think they might have been the ones that put this in here. And if not, they'll get theirs. They'll get there. So anyhow, um, let's move on to something else other than Tinker's Construct. I might be tired of talking about it. I don't know. I need to upgrade this pickaxe to an actual iron pick head, but I'll do that later. I'm at the iron level, so I think I'll do something about it at another time. Oh, check this out. I've got fire protection on my leggings, so that's supposed to keep me cooler, I think. I think that that makes me not get as hot as quick but I'm still sweating and I need to drink water all right let's talk about something else let's talk about these doors some people get so excited over the silliest things if you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out Ty Design's video. His channel's in the description. Um, I've got a new book here, and we need to check it out. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I've also got a very full inventory that I need to deal with. Uh, what should we get rid of? Doo -doo -doo. Oh, I've already got the book. Never mind. Let's check it out. We'll do a quick overview of this. There's a reason why this farm is here. PMS Proxy's been working on this. I've recently eaten one carrot. And that one carrot gave me two haunches or whatever they're called. So this is the Spice of Life mod. And the more carrots that I eat, the less they give me. Should we look at that book again? Okay, it gave me two. After I eat 12 carrots, or up to 12 carrots, it doesn't really give me two haunches anymore. Maybe I could run around in circles a little bit, and then we could possibly test that theory. I don't really know, but you make that by... You make this book by putting this stuff in a crafting bench and making paper and then adding wheat to it and you get what is called a food journal and that tells you what you've been eating and whether it's going to do you any good we'll talk more about that in a future episode I think this episode might actually be getting close to the end oh I mean, yeah in the next episode we're going to talk about our plans for this too this is smeltery hill uh, I think I want to make I wonder if I can do that now. I don't think it'll work. All right, I'm going to come back. I want to make a... Uh, but what's it called? Oh, I know what it is. It's a chisel. I want to use the chisel blocks in here. This is going to be a, a dank, dark, depressing basement where industrial things are made. And so, you know, I'll come back and see a future episode for that. All right. I probably should just call it here. Quit while I'm ahead. Hey, bye.